At Kitta, the safety of our customers is our priority. We have identified a potential product safety issue related to certain fire extinguishers. As a result, Kitta is voluntarily recalling these extinguishers. In this video, we will help you identify whether your fire extinguisher is included in the recall and show you where to find the information needed to process your request for a free replacement. Now let's see if your fire extinguisher is affected by the recall. There are two styles of fire extinguishers included in the recall. Certain plastic handle fire extinguishers and push button pindicator fire extinguishers. If the extinguisher has a gauge, the first thing to look for is a vertically oriented pull pin that is either fixed with two connections or hanging with a single connection. The other distinguishing factor is a straight, not curved, handle. The other type of affected extinguisher is the push button pindicator design. These extinguishers have push buttons, a T-shaped pull pin, and a loop handle. These units come in two sizes and are either red or white. If your push button pindicator model is used with a personal watercraft, Kitta does not currently have an exact replacement for it, but will provide a replacement that is U.S. Coast Guard rated and similar in size. While it may not fit in the same location as the extinguisher that you currently have, there may be another space on your watercraft where the extinguisher can be stored or mounted. Let's take a moment to identify fire extinguishers not affected by the recall. If your extinguisher has a metal handle and metal pull pin in any style, it is not affected. Plastic handle extinguishers with horizontal plastic pull pins and a curved black plastic handle are also not affected. These units come in various sizes and are either red, white, or silver and can be ABC or BC rated, but the important thing to remember is the horizontal plastic pull pin and curved black plastic handle. To process your replacement for an affected fire extinguisher, you will need to provide three unique identifiers from your unit. The model number, the date of manufacture, if available, and the serial number. First, please locate and identify the model number and color of the fire extinguisher. The model number can be found on the bottom right of the fire extinguisher label, below the UL mark, and may consist of both alphabetic characters and numbers. If more than one model is listed on the label, you will only need to submit the first model listed. If you are entering your request online, the web form includes a drop-down list of affected models and the color of the fire extinguisher. Please be sure to select your respective combination of model and color. If you do not see your fire extinguisher listed, it is not subject to the recall. If you are directed by the Kitter representative or the online form to provide the date of manufacture of your fire extinguisher, you can locate this 10-digit date code on the side or back of the cylinder near the bottom. Digits 5 through 9 represent the day and year of manufacture. You will only need to provide these five digits. For units produced before 2007, a date code will not be required. The final item that you will need to complete your replacement request is the serial number. The serial number is located near the model number on the unit's label and will consist of a combination of both alphabetic characters and numbers. Now that you have identified that your fire extinguisher is included in this recall and you have the necessary information to process your request, please visit kitta.com or call 855-271-0773 in the U.S or 855-233-2882 in Canada to submit your order. Please keep your affected unit until the replacement arrives. Upon receipt of your new fire extinguisher, you will find instructions on how to return your affected fire extinguisher. Thank you for taking the time to support our recall and replacement program, and we apologize for any inconvenience.